Hello, I'm Avix Toycat, and welcome back to another video. Today, I have some really interesting findings to share with you, actually, regarding Minecraft console multiplayer. Because I've done quite a bit of testing regarding Minecraft console multiplayer, and what I have found really shocked me, and actually can be used and almost abused in a certain variety of ways to change the length of your days in Minecraft, and to you know alter functions like redstone and stuff like that. That really, really, you know, kind of just shocked me in quite a lot of ways. So I figured it would be worth sharing. And if you like the more technical side of Minecraft, you like to learn stuff like this. This is like a con so exclusive piece of information because of how the whole thing works and I figured if you like this this would be the sort of thing you do like anyway please do like it if you do like it that's like the fifth time I've said like already that's the sixth time so I'm going to stop now and we're going to get straight into the actual video I'm going to explain what's going on in the background right now because what you're seeing is 10 times speed gameplay and the reason that I'm doing that is because I have three major tests in this video I'm showing off three separate things the first thing that I'm showing off is uh, my control test this is to prove that in Minecraft a night uh, a day night cycle takes exactly 20 minutes so you have 10 minutes a day you have a minute a half of dawn and dusk each and then you have uh, seven minutes of night time it's that simple and it means that if i sat here for uh, 20 minutes which i did uh what should happen is at the end of 20 minutes exactly at the end the moon will be in the same position as when i started it could be the same the sun but i figured i'd start the moon and uh, at the end of the two minutes you'll see that is indeed correct but then the testing i do after that is where things get weird because the uh, the origin of this testing and the reason this whole thing works is basically on minecraft uh, xbox minecraft playstation any minecraft console version because you are not connecting to external servers you are uh, when you set up, when you play a friend, you're not playing on a separate server. Whoever is hosting the map is also being the server. Like their console is acting as both a server and you're playing on the console at the same time. And this actually creates some slightly funny things. Like it means, uh, for instance, this is the reason that if you get too many players on console, it starts to lag because they're all trying to synchronize to the same server. And as more and more people do that, it gets harder and harder. One small issue becomes a big issue, and uh, yeah, it becomes an issue for everyone. But the really interesting thing about the way the server system works on console is it means that if you know there's starts to be any lag for any reason that starts to affect the, you know, the server. This means even though the host might not necessarily feel the lag, it will still affect the world in some really, really strange ways. And uh, we're moving on to the second test now. This is actually in Lion's world of just me and him in the world. And you'll notice this, even though, you know, it, it, there's only two of us here, because there is that server connection and he's in Belgium, I'm in the UK, it does create some very, very slight issues here. Like you'll see uh, the stars you're seeing in the background, they'll jitter every now and then backwards. You might not notice it, but it is a very subtle thing. And it means that this second test even though it's the exact same Minecraft world going to the exact or you know going to the same point in the day it takes 22 minutes to complete instead of 20 minutes which means it actually takes 10% longer for the whole day night cycle to complete because of this second test and that's a really interesting thing because you know the day night cycle being linked to how many people in the world can create some really interesting results and I'll show you more on that in a second uh, but yeah the really interesting uh, cool thing about this is even with just two players in the world even if you're just playing with a friend that's in somewhere else uh, where you don't have a perfect connection it will still mean that your days will last a little bit longer it it means uh, the day lasts uh, 11 minutes, it means the dawn and dusk last like a minute 40 each, and that the night will actually last almost 8 whole minutes. And this is really interesting given that there is just two of us here, this is just me and a friend in a world, and I'm not even doing anything, we're not even building stuff, it is just the world, you know, the connection having small jitters that causes this to happen every now and then, and that makes it a whole 10% slower. So if, if you wonder what I mean by 10% slow, what does that even affect? Basically the way Minecraft runs, the way servers run, is they have this thing called Minecraft Game Ticks. This runs game time, it runs how crops grow, it, ha it you know, to some degree runs Redstone. It runs a whole bunch of different things that happen pseudo-randomly. Like, they'll happen every, you know, they've got a chance to happen every tick. That's how it works. So this means that there's a bunch of different things that are actually changed by this, not just the daytime. So even though, you know, there's a 10% effect on the daytime, it also means there's a 10% effect on crops. There's a 10% effect on all these different things that are affected by the game, and that's really interesting. So we're coming towards the end of the test here, and as you can see, uh, we start the test at 2 minutes, and it ends at 4 minutes 12. And because this is 10 times speed, that means it's an extra 2 minutes just to go all the way around which again yeah it proves the same result and it is pretty interesting so finally you know let's move on to the third test here and this third test is the most interesting one i only got to uh, half a full daylight cycle because of just how long it took but basically um with uh lion survival madness world it's a very bad world we decided to get eight people in here and we've got me from the uk we've got lion from belgium we've got uh long shot from the uh yeah he's from dubai we've got mz from australia we've got bolts from america and some few other people but you know that i'm just pointing out all the different uh, geographic locations everyone's from everywhere and you know everyone probably has a reasonable connection at the least but basically when we get all of us in the game together you can really start to see this like genuinely happen in front of your eyes like it's just crazy how much it goes up and down and you can see, you know, there is some general movement here, but it is still very uh, fast and slow. So, what is the overall effect from this? What's the big uh, kind of takeaway from this? Basically, if you have eight people in the world, 
we might be going on the worst case scenario here, but with eight people in the world, we are from different locations, but with decent, uh, reasonably decent connections. It still meant that the day happened not only, you know, half as slow as it could, but 110% slower. So this means that for a whole day to play, take place, it would have taken more than 40 minutes because just for the, uh, you know, a single, uh, a single day for the mo- uh, sun to get where the moon used to be, which should take about 10 to 11 minutes, it took 24 minutes. That's right, longer than an entire day night cycle in a regular world just to go halfway round. It's entirely insane, and of course we had to ban the test because of just how long it was taken, and Lion uh, couldn't have the world open anymore. But you can see, there's just so much going crazy here, and it affects so much, and just, uh, I think I'd also test uh, the redstone wall here. Redstone ticks are slowed down by all of this too. So, what can you use this information to do? Why am I putting this video out here? So, I'm putting this out there because if you are running any form of multiplayer server, any form of world where you're getting lots of people in, you do need to bear this in mind. You do need to bear in mind that your nights can take up to double as long as they should, your days can take double as long as they should, and that can be beneficial in a lot of ways. I mean, if you sleep for all your nights, then you can have, you know, 20 minutes between each sleep, uh, but it is still worth noting. Your crops will grow slower, uh, your redstone will happen a little bit slower, and it's all stuff you have to bear in mind. For instance, uh, TNC cannons don't work entirely as well because of this whole thing, and there's so many just, you know, tiny little micro factors like this that all change because of the fact that so many people in the world will slow down the game time. And this is, uh, you know, it's, it's somewhat of a bug, but I'm not sure if it can be fixed because it is based on the way that the consoles are both the server and the client. Um, if, you know, 4 Jake fix it, I'd love for that, but I'm not sure if it is a simple fix. I think it is just, you know, lag causes a slight issue and the way it's coded causes this. Um, ideally, this would be fixed before 16 players because otherwise we could be seeing, like, you know, hour 20 d- uh, long days. Um, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but I thought this was a cool thing to share with you all. I thought it'd be something you might enjoy to know about if you like the in-depth parts of Minecraft. And if you did, please do like it and let me know. Share it if you really liked it in the background, just seeing a few uh, examples of this just being in play. Um, and also subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this every single day on my channel going in-depth into lots of Minecraft, whether it be new updates, whether it be, uh, you know, just stuff already in the game, or whether it be seeds and stuff. I do a lot of cool stuff, and I think you'll enjoy some of it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.